What's going on everybody? Today we're back with another video. Today it's Cruz's first time riding uh, his own sled up the trail. He's came up two years ago with us on a family ride to the Riley Suhan race, but today he's uh, he's 12 this year. So that's kind of when we start to get into mountain riding, like on your own sled in our family. That's when our dad lets us ride. So uh, this is his first uh, rip up the mountain. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty exciting. I think uh, he's drank a full piece tea already, so he's gonna be pissing on the side of the trail a lot, but uh, should be pretty interesting. I'm so excited to be doing this for my first time. <laughs> I just love seeing the mountains and taking for a rip. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What sled are you riding today? I'm riding the gray ski -Doo. The gray ski -Doo? What uh What sled did you say you wanted? I wanted to ride that one. <laughs> he wanted to ride one of my turbos. He's funny. So uh, yeah, we'll have to see uh, how he does up there. Be a pretty uh, interesting how yeah, you do compared to what I did. So it's gonna be pretty cool that I get to go and film this for him. And uh, yeah. Just got up to the cabin here we're gonna just uh warm up eat a little lunch we kind of got a late start um i think it's about 12 30 right now so we're gonna eat a little bit of lunch then we're gonna head back and probably just down the middle of the valley here try to find a hill and we'll do like a comparison video of ski versus polaris and i'll try to make it like as fair as i can where i do the, the same lines and see which one side hills better which one has more bottom end they both have clutch kits, so it should be pretty fair on that end. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hey, good Did you? I some of those guys have fun. Good job. We're trying to get over into those ones. It's more fun if we keep going. Yeah. You see the avalanches over there? They slid down all the way from the top. I can see mom and dad on our screen. We can play around for a bit. You like that sled? Yeah, I like Oh yeah? It's fat. Fat? Yeah, it's fat. Oh. We got my mom on my free ride. Pretty cool to have both my sleds up here at the same time so that I can kind of try both of them out. Switch back and forth, like right back and forth. Right now I'm on the flares because it doesn't cool as good as the um, ski -Doo's. Like that thing never got over um 130 on the trail where this thing was at like 150 140 all the way up the trail so definitely the ski do 146 with the two and a half that thing cools way better than the players you know the longer cooler helps everything too so <laughs> Jump on the Polaris and follow me. Okay, we jumped onto the ski do now. This thing's got more jam. Better suspension. <laughs> Oh, 
see in this pillow zone when I was young, never thinking that that would even be rideable, but that is definitely rideable for sure. Looks like the skier's dream, but you could get up on the left here, mess around. That is a pillow zone and a half right there, dude. That'd be so fun just trying to get up that. So challenging on a deep day. Might be worse than Revy, this snow. big rock. Cruz wants to move an area. I'll try to find a spot so that we can do the comparison between both sleds. I already know that the players are better at the trees 100%. But it seems like the dew has more power. A like a lot more power. And this thing has a brand new motor, so and clutching too. So they should be pretty similar. Whoa, well, we're putting our way back out. Got her fixed up. That thing broke. That's the uh, mechanic wire from Mountain Lab kit came in handy there. So we got this one broke, and that one is broken. So two opposite sides. This one we're gonna try to make it pretty good with like a little piece of wood. Cutting a piece of wood and then we're gonna kind of put it in here and tape it real good to this. That other one has wire on it, so it's pretty strong, we're thinking. And it was holding up by itself when this one was broken too, so. Get this fixed up. Broke one on uh, a Polaris last year too, so. I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing to break. Cheap part at least, but it's kind of a hassle to change. The log, now we're wrapping it tight. Insulated with tape. Just take the metal and cut the rope. A typical mom trying to tell Rico what to do. We could build one. Do you want to build a little jump? Build one? Yeah, on the flat or something for him to hit. So since uh, the snow isn't the best and the Polaris is broken, we're gonna build a little bit of a jump for Cruz to hit right here on the flat. And uh, yeah, we're kind of picking like a little spot that already has a hill in it. And then uh, we'll just put a little bit of a lip on it. See how high he can get. I don't know what mom's doing, but I guess she's just chilling over there. Eating something. <laughs> Cruz's first jump. I thought he was gonna. <laughs> Me too. At first he was like la di da di da. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. That was awesome. Let's go, Cruz. Huh? Let's go. You're doing it too? Yeah, and you. You go first, Cruz, and then Jake. Yeah. Oh. 
So we just finished up hitting the jump there. Can't even tell that it was a jump anymore. We just pounded it down. But uh, yeah, I was gonna do a Polaris vs. Skidoo video, but the Polaris broke. So <laughs> there was the video, I guess. Didn't last. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to fix the Polaris. Just the front uh, track, like the bars on the front both broke, so yeah. Stay tuned for that video. I'll have to do that after. I'll get it all fixed up and then we'll try to get someone to take it up the mountain where I have both of them on the mountain again, so. How's your uh, first time in the mountains? Amazing, I love it here. Yeah? What's your uh, favorite thing, hitting jumps, you think? Yeah, definitely hitting jumps. That's good. You're saying that base out the big jumps on the trail and yep. just hit, jump them? Yeah, pin it right before you, right before you get it, you got it. Wow, that's sick. Nice area, hey? Yep. Big mountains. Sweet. Let's go back to the cabin and do some bogles. I'll follow you. Yeah. Oh my God. One eighty. Said skidoo is way better. I can steer with the skidoo. I cannot steer with it. Too tippy? Too, I think it's too wide. Too tippy. Too turn. Like I can't, I can't turn anyway. I think that has a lot to do with the steering. Yeah, I don't have as much leverage because it's forward and back. Where the ski is like down. You can pull down on the bars and the skis. can't turn the skis. Yeah, skis are big. But they do really good in the powder. So that's why I have them on there. A little thumbnail action. You cold? You getting cold in there or what? You got your thing right open. You should do this up. That part's not actually cold. The only thing cold is my fingies. No, it's just the Polaris is super hard to ride on, like flat. Hey, I don't want you it tips over all the time, hard to steer. But when you get it on like the good snow, it's way easier to ride because it's way more responsive. It's easy to tip over. That one's really hard to tip over. Harder. Cruz, how was your day? Nice. Pretty good day? Yeah. Good first day, hit a, built a little jump at the end of the day there. He creamed it the first one. What'd you do, bang up your left leg? Pretty good or what? My left knee hit the side. Hit the side panel? Yeah. All in all, I think it was a pretty uh, wicked day out there. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.